Hello, yeah, Charlottesville and Confederate statues. I've left a link below where um, the left are pulling down a statue, the statue falls to the ground and they're all kicking it like it's a live human being. Very bizarre to watch, but that's the left view. What are enemies of cleverly, cleverly done here, courtesy of their spies, Richard Spencer being one of them, Matthew Heinbach and many, many others. What they have done, they have mobilised a massive mobilisation. Like this is the uh, the in cause. This is what everyone's all talking about. About defending Confederate uh, statues in the South. And uh, Robert E. Uh, Lee was here, General Lee, uh, defending these statues from being removed and taken down. But I've just got on this now. The public is not interested when not the, the taken down or stayed up. Right, I'm sure there's plenty that would like them to stay up, but they're not going to lose any sleep over it should they be taken down. Right, and they're certainly not going to be moved to action, demonstrating, voting, joining, whatever, uh, should they be taken down. So, our enemies once again, the Vador movement, the white nationalist movement in America, campaigning and fighting over issues that most of the public don't care about anyway and in many of my videos those familiar with ones that go back two years three years i've said before that this heritage and tradition is finished the public do not care not enough to care to do something about it join vote or demonstrate or whatever so the riots at charlottesville has all been for nothing because the vast majority of people in the South don't care if the statues stay or go. They've got more important um, issues in their lives to deal with. Jobs, welfare, housing, doctors, dentists, hospitals, uh, the crime, the list is endless that they have to deal with on a daily basis. If them statues are taken down, I hope they're not, but if they are, their lives go on as normal. It doesn't give them better or worse employment, housing, welfare, jobs, hospital. It doesn't affect them in any way, does it? Well, exactly. Now, our enemies, again, they haven't had us campaigning over unemployment, say, in the area. Or uh, welfare being cut. Because had that been the case, you'd have had the people of Charlottesville out there demonstrating with you. And attacking anyone that was taking their welfare away from them. You probably would have done but not over statues because they don't care. Some, as I've said, are 100 years old, some are even older. Why would they care? And this is where we're making a big mistake. And our enemies, again, courtesy of their spy that Richard Spencer, Matthew Heimbach, Nathan D'Amigo, many, many others, they've got on, they've got the movement in America, the white nationalist movement in America, campaigning and fighting over issues people don't care about anyway. Very, very devious and clever move by our enemies and that's what they're doing if you haven't got your campaign on unemployment or jobs or housing that affects people on a daily basis and i'm sure if you're taking the food out of their kids mouths right they'd be on the streets with you fighting but not over statues not enemies have got onto that clever clever devious mood a uh, move sorry also donald trump have left the a video uh, the video the link below um it's by the Business Insider, it's a YouTube channel. Donald Trump's now condemning the white nationalist movement in all its forms, neo Nazis, KKK, whatever. Like he's one of, he's like an enemy of our movement when he never has been. But because of Richard Spencer, hail Trump! And the right arm salutes and all the other violence and pro Trump campaigns, marches, demos, fights with Antifa, they've rubbed off on Trump, where he's now been associated as being a racist, gay, 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 neo Nazi, and everything else. So he's being put in a corner now, and he's had to come out and denounce us. And he sounds like, you know, the rhetoric's like what we hear from our enemies, and he's being pushed into a corner by the spies running our movement. You see now what's happened and what is happening. Okay, thank you.